Now, the WGAL News 8 Storm Team Forecast with meteorologist Matt Moore. Now let's get those phones ringing. And I tell you what, not the greatest day to go outside, that's for sure. We're looking live from our York Skycam. It's looked like this pretty much all morning long. We've had dense fog advisories that were in effect earlier. Those have now been wiped out, but we still do have the dense fog, including here in the White Rose City. Live or the live temperatures are right now 39 degrees. Can other conditions, calm winds, and again, 0, 0.0 visibilities here. We're rounding things down. It's an eighth a mile or less in York right now, so use caution out on the roadways here. The visibility being down can be a little bit treacherous for folks uh, out and about. It makes your uh, stoppage time. Uh, you need to give yourself a little more space in between cars here as we go throughout the rest of this afternoon. We still do have those low dense visibilities right now. Dense fog quarter mile visibilities around Lebanon into Lancaster. Zero in Harrisburg again in York. Carlisle also seeing the same half mile visibilities around Sealands Grove and it's zero in Co Coatsville at this hour. You see that swath of the fog right now and on top of the fog, we've got the clouds rolling back in and some folks broke out into some sunshine briefly in northwestern counties, but that's uh, quickly filling back in right now. Temperatures elsewhere are generally in the 40s, upper 30s, so it's a chilly start to the day and we are seeing some of those showers working in from southwest to northeast and this trend will continue for us through the rest of this afternoon and especially this evening as we see the bulk of the rain starting to work its way into the mid Atlantic. It's a large storm system. It will take a very long time to get out of here. So turning cloudy here as we go through today and showers will transition over to just kind of a plain rain later on this evening. She looks pretty light though. We're not expecting anything all that heavy, at least today. Although tonight as we go through the overnight hours could be some pockets of more moderate rainfall out there and also again some areas of fog as the lows kind of hover around the 40 degree mark plus or minus a few degrees. That takes us into tomorrow, which looks like a milder day, um, upper 40s, maybe near 50 degrees with clouds around. And yes, we'll have the showers and the drizzle. So if you have outdoor plans tomorrow, be aware it will be one of those damp and dreary days here throughout uh, tomorrow afternoon as well. Looks like much of the same into Sunday too, and it's because the storm system is a pretty large and be a slow mover. The center of the low sitting back here near Texas and it is a slow mover. It will take some time before it finally clears the region. So let's take a look at predictor through the rest of today. Again, some showers starting to work their way in, but the steadiest of the rain will arise for us later this evening and overnight into tomorrow morning. So we'll see some pockets of more moderate rainfall possible, but generally speaking on and off showers throughout the day, drizzle mist in between that. So just not the greatest day overall with uh, anything outdoors here through the day tomorrow. That takes us into our Sunday and there's a second wave of low pressure that is lifting more moisture into the region. Look at that. Could be even some heavy rainfall later on uh, into Sunday morning, Sunday afternoon. Here comes the low. Notice the cold air trying to catch up on the back side of this might end this as a little bit in the way of some wet snowflakes here later Sunday. And as we go into the uh, overnight hours into early Monday, rainfall amounts could exceed one to two inches of rain by the time we get uh, through the weekend itself. You can see predictors showing several spots over two inches of that rain as we go through our Sunday evening. And again, could end as a few wet snowflakes as well. Not worried about any huge flooding issues that the rivers will be on the rise, but it's going to be coming over a longer period of time. And then once we get past that, it does look cooler, especially into Monday with the blustery winds and drying out by the middle of this coming week. So impact days, both Saturday and Sunday, that just means the weather may impact you if you're headed outside. Absolutely. And as we said, we haven't had a lot of precipitation yeah. lately. <laughs> yeah, right. It's been about what 10 days we had to dry days, yeah. but uh, making it up for you. All so. right. Very good. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Matt.